I just gotta walk in the door through the door Never stop, never stop, always on attack Locked in the path, never getting off track Whatever I'm at, What's good? What's up? Dunk Life Daily, we're back. First things first, happy birthday, mom. Always bugging me on my videos. I mentioned one time, I'll say hi, mom, after eight minutes. She never lets me live it down. I gotta remember to do that. Problem is, when I'm vlogging, I don't know how long the video's gonna be. I, I guess I gotta throw it in. But here it is. Hopefully that suffices for a little bit, satisfies you. Anyway, welcome to Dunk Life Daily. We're back. Day four already? Damn. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep this up as many days as I can. If I take a break one day or two because I'm just busy, be right back at it. I want to keep this going for a long time. I've been doing the actual daily podcast now for maybe two months. It's been a while since I started doing it daily, and I'm loving it. Gets my mind right. And now I've added the dunk tips, dunk tips, life What's going on? Black holes. I continued my research last night watching that show. Uh, speaking of life, I went to sleep at 8 p.m. I was in bed at 8.15 Slept for, I'll flash it on the screen if you're watching on the video podcast, shout out to YouTube. Um, my Fitbit says I did eight hours and 28 minutes time of sleep. I think that's after the wakefulness because I have an hour of 40 minutes of wakefulness, two hours of REM, four hours and 53 minutes of light sleep and deep sleep one hour and 35 minutes. I'm killing it. That was an amazing. So I woke up at 645 <laughs> natural boy. I feel good. It felt really good. What I was saying yesterday on my Instagram, if you follow, was the no nap gang. What I mean by that is I was so hyped from the night, the day I dunked. If you haven't seen that video, check that out for sure. It was like my highest jumping day ever. I made a, a crazy edits for it. I edited the whole vlog. I was like just basking in it, celebrating it, feeling so good about it that I went to sleep late. And then I only slept like five hours. And then the next day I was exhausted after work, but I needed to go to the gym to keep my hamstrings, keep working on it. We don't stop. I really, I realized that like pushing my hamstrings, doing the Romanian deadlifts, those really help. So I wanted to do those daily because I sit on it at work and sitting on my hamstring hurts all back to the awareness. Dude, I'm using, I'm going full dunk life principles on these friggin'. So yeah, I was like, Con always conscious of how I feel. They feel super tight after work, so I really want to get that stretch in before I go to sleep, before the day ends. But I was so tired. I'm like, do I take a nap first? Do I go to the gym, then take a nap? There was just no good time to take a nap. I do like 30-minute power naps. I have these binaural beats I listen to. It like eases you into sleep and then eases you right out of it. So... And after 30 minutes of just silence and trying to meditate, that those 30 minutes naps, naps take what, what take feel great. Um, and so other than that, though, if I take if I took a long nap, I probably would have woken up at like seven or eight and then it would, I would have gone to sleep late. But I like waking up early. And plus, I want to get a lot done. So I much rather just kind of stay up. Um, and then go to sleep at eight, nine o'clock, just kind of push myself a little bit to stay up. And I think that's a lot healthier because if you do it, it's just a harder cycle to get back in the rhythm. I was off the rhythm because of the poor sleep. So I'm not going to compound it by going and taking a long nap in the afternoon, just kind of stay up a little more. And that's what I like to do. So today I wanted to talk about jumpers knee part two, because yesterday I really wanted to get that video up, but I forgot two, two things. So yesterday I talked about the progression so yesterday, if you missed yesterday's, it was jumper's knee, how to fix it, the progression from just really quick, which was literally do nothing and rest, then to isometrics for a few weeks or however long it takes, then body squats, and then added weighted squats, and then jumps. So that's the basic progression. But today, I wanted to bring more awareness to how what you should be feeling when you're trying to fix that jumper's knee, which is the the tendon health. And th there's two things I wanted to mention, which is the range of motion you can handle and the tension you're causing. So range of motion is like if you just slightly bend your knee, like if you're standing up and you slightly bend, that's very little range of motion. But if you go all the way down to a full squat or bend your leg all the way, that's the full range of motion of that tendon. So you want to get the full range of motion so you're getting the the health of the muscle and you're getting the tendon. So you're getting it like the blood flow through the whole thing. That's really important. But at first, if it really hurts, don't go full range of motion. But that's another one of your goals as you're making that progress with isometrics and when you're going to the body squat. So maybe you start body squats and you do like quarter squats, then half squats, then you could do a full squat. But the point is you want to build up the range of motion first before you start adding weight. You don't want to just add weight in that range. But 
you do want to start repping out that range. So if you can't do a full body squat yet, but you can do like slight bends, maybe just do a bunch of reps in that range. You basically want to hit that range over and over again so you get a lot of blood flow stimulated and start strengthening a little bit and push it a tiny bit. And then the tension, the other thing about tension, the main thing is that tension is caused by more range of motion and also speed and weight. So if you have... If you're in full range of motion with a certain amount of weight, that's going to be a lot more tension on your tendon than if you do like a quarter squat with a lot of weight. So remember that. And then the other thing with tension is when you're doing your body squats and you're going down, if you go down super fast, that's going to be more speed. That's going to cause more tension. And then if you're using heavier weight, that's going to cause more tension. So all these things, all those factors need to be in your mind as you're progressing. So that way, because for example, like for me, if I was trying to do it, this is what I had to learn because in the past I did it poorly. Is like I was lifting a lot, right? And I was lifting heavy weight and it didn't hurt my knee, but I didn't realize like I was going full depth on squats using a lot of weight. That's a ton of tension. And then the next day I was jumping. I'm like, I'm not lifting on my knees anymore. It should be fine. But jumping is a lot of speed and, and even more force. So I didn't know anything about that. So even though they're like two completely different exercises, I already used a lot of my knee the day before using lifting. So I was just putting so much tension on my knee. And when you're making the progress, when you're doing body squats, is like be cautious of how fast you're doing. And when you do your, that's why I say baby jumps when you first get back to jumping. Because if you just try to jump full speed, that might, you don't know, you want to go gradual. You don't want to cause like however many pounds of force with the tension of the speed of the jump, do like a very light jump. So yeah, that's pretty much jumper's knee. And now back to life. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, we're keeping it going. I have a lot of big news coming up that I might be able to share coming soon, maybe in the next few days or so. Um, hint, hint, it's job related. So that should be really cool. I'm loving doing this podcast. Um, I made a dope mix of my last uh, dunk session, which I love doing as well, but I can't really post it on YouTube because it's just going to get taken down with the music. But check out my Instagram for that. Uh, with YouTube, I got guests coming on. I spoke with Jay Duth. That was super dope. We talked about him blowing up on YouTube. So I'm going to post that soon. When it comes to Dunk Life Daily, I'm going to try to post this every single morning to start your day with some friggin' energy, as you know. Uh, but also, I'll post other videos. So there's probably going to be a lot of days where I post multiple videos a day. So sorry, but you're probably going to love it. And yeah, lastly, leave all your comments below because I want the bottom of this to be where I answer all the questions. So I'm not answering the questions in DMs where only one person gets to see it. This way, everybody sees your comment and I have one place where I can add all the information, all the value I can. So let's go. Plus I want to blow up on YouTube. Help me out. Anything else? Um, it's a great day. And I guess I'll end it with uh, happy birthday again, mom. Have a good one. That's it. That's really it, I guess. To to the live. Life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.